Hi, thank you for joining today's presentation. My name is Vikas. I'm Vice President Sales and Partnership at Botmines. We'll be talking about the protocol validation process for the pharmaceutical companies. We'll explore the challenges commonly faced across this process and demonstrate how Botmines can address these issues. Let's get started. Botmines is a no-code platform to build your AI solutions rapidly for the enterprise. Today, we're talking about the protocol validation process for the pharmaceuticals. The pharma industry operates under stringent regulations. Validation process is key, but there are two key processes for protocols. One is protocol generation, and the other is protocol validation. Protocol generation involves the creation of a detailed plan for a clinical trial or research study. This document outlines the objectives, design, methodology, statistical considerations, and organization of the trial. The main steps include document collection and organization, initial protocol drafting, regulatory and ethical compliance, stakeholder collaboration, feedback integration, and finalization. Protocol validation, on the other hand, ensures that the protocol is accurate, feasible, and ready for implementation. This process checks that the protocol will achieve its intended objectives and comply with regulatory requirements. Key aspects include review and verification, feasibility assessment, regulatory review, and approval. With BotMinds, we'll focus on the protocol validation process. Here are some of the challenges around the process. Review and verification complexity. In the protocol validation process, ensuring the protocol is both accurate and complete is critical. This requires thorough review by both internal and external experts. However, this detailed review process can be extremely time-consuming and demands a high level of meticulous attention to detail, which can slow down the overall timeline. Regulatory compliance assurance. Compliance with all relevant regulatory requirements and guidelines is non-negotiable. However, this often means multiple revisions to the protocol to ensure it meets these stringent standards leading to potential delays in the validation process. Feasibility and risk assessment. Assessing whether the protocol is practically feasible within the given constraints of time, budget, and resources presents a significant challenge. Evaluating the proposed methods and timelines to ensure they are achievable requires careful consideration and plan. Identify and fill in templates manually. Manual identification and completion of protocol templates are often necessary, but this process can be thrown to errors. The manual nature of this task increases the risk of inaccuracies, which can impact the overall validity and reliability of the protocol. Heavy reliance on domain knowledge. The protocol validation process heavily depends on the subject matter experts. Their specialized knowledge is crucial for accurate validation. But this reliance can lead to bottlenecks and delays if experts are unavailable or overloaded with other responsibilities. Now, let's take a look at what BotMind's platform has to offer. There are three key pillars to the platform. The first is the AI connectors. With AI connectors, we can bring in all kinds of data, including any kind of source, be it mailbox, web, SharePoint, cloud, and we process all structured documents. This includes scan, handwritten documents, PDF, JPEGs, uh, document sets as well of any land. Then we have the AI engine. Our AI engine offers both generative and agentic AI capabilities. Through Gen AI, we read, analyze all kind of unstructured data independent of template. With agentic AI, we bring in reasoning and autonomous process execution. And our third pillar is the capabilities. We offer six different capabilities as part of the platform. Data capture agents capture information from any complex unstructured document or document sets. Agentic workflow build autonomous workflows that can operate by itself, leveraging output of one agent as the input for the other, stringing together an agentic workflow. AI search allows you to search through your document repository. Conversational AI is your copilot on top of your documents and only for your documents, allowing you to freely interact with them. AI analytics and dashboard is the real-time information and health of the operations straight from the incoming documents to your dashboard. And finally, AI agents, these are the sets of assistants available to you to perform complex tasks autonomously. I showed you the challenges earlier. Let's take a look at which BotMind's capabilities are being utilized here to address these challenges.
Let me show you a demo now. In this demo, you will notice that there are unstructured documents. Write template needs to be identified from the repository. Validation needs to be done based on the business rules specified, and auditors need to be notified as part of the overall workflow. All right, let's get started with the demo. Uh, you can see that the very first uh, screen that I'm on is the dashboard screen. This is where you have the ability to look at the entire workflow uh, you know, in one place and see exactly what is going on at any given point of time. The numbers that you see on top represent the number of documents that are sitting in that particular stage. The way this workflow has been configured is that we have the integration with the source system, which could be the mailbox, could be SharePoint, or any other repository that is there. At a predetermined time or interval, the information will be pulled out. It can be done on demand or the moment of the information or document shows up or when the request is triggered. We also keep track on the request for the protocol validation that comes in. And we look at and collect all the relevant documents which should be there as part of protocol. Once that is done, we generate the entire protocol validation from the knowledge base based on the understanding that is there within the models and based on the documentation that has been shared with us. This is then prepared and ready for the compliance verification. You would see that it is then ready for review, SME review, and the approval stage. And eventually, it is triggered for the auditor's review as well. And finally, the report can be published. Now, if you go through the entire process here, you would see that you have the ability to slice and dice the data uh, or the information that is there in the documents or the stages uh, in your dashboard. So you have stage-wise protocol count. You have the milestones that are available. You have different tiles that tell you where exactly are the protocol documentation currently sitting at. So there are nine completed protocols, 24 protocols overall available. Then you have the weekly breakup if you so require. Uh, you have the protocols by the company if you so require. And all of this information is available for you to be you know, brought in, depending upon slice and dicing of the data, like I mentioned, through the widgets which are available within the dashboard. When I look at the dashboard, I want to start with what all documents are currently available. So I can go ahead and look at the protocol validation process. I can see in a, in a single go that the same representation that I had on the workflow, I have these documents in a variety of stages. So I have documents ready for review, I have document SME review, and so on and so forth. So let's get started with the very first one, which is ready for review. Once I open this document, I have the project assessment report. Now, this report has the details about what needs to get done, what templates need to be looked at, which are predefined, and what are the information that needs to be pulled up. So as you would see this sitting on the ready for review, I'm reviewing this part. I'm a user, user one. This is the amount of time that I've spent. I can, of course, collapse and close all of these pieces of information. Uh, and with this assessment report, I need to look at multiple documents. All of those documents are available as part of this document set, which are loaded within this entire project. These are automatically picked up by the platform, depending upon how it has been configured. So the very first thing that we do is to look at all this information and gather from all of these variety of different sources. You have the ability to click on this information and see where it has been you know, picked up from and whether it is correct or not. And once you're done, you can, of course, come back to the main assessment report. But once we have finished with that part, we actually have created the process verification template, the information that was actually required. So here we have the document approvals, the purpose and objectives, scope and background, requirements, acceptance criteria, etc. Once I'm happy with this part, I can go ahead and I can confirm that this is ready for the SME review. I will click that. It will move to the next stage. It will inform me that it is done. And in this case, I'm a demo user, so I'm logged in as the SME as well. I can confirm receipt and I can say, OK, this document is now with me and now it is verified as well and moves on to the approval stage. Let's take a look at the copilot now. And it gives me the information with the reference. I have the ability to look at uh, the different references and find where the information has actually come from. And I can continue to interact with uh, the copilot here, ask any question that I want, and get the responses that are required. We have the information 
available now across all of these pieces. Um, I have the ability to configure and you know put all the information into a new document, and that can be done by simply pushing the information that I have kind of collected and put it and create into a new document. Once that is done, I can give it a new heading and I can publish this document out if required. Now, please keep in mind that this is not the report. The report that we're looking at would essentially come in once it has been you know, approved and once it has been published, and that will be on the basis of the validation information on the basis of the template that was created, which is right here. To close this discussion, let me summarize the benefits BotMinds platform offers for the protocol validation process. Automated review and verification. Our solution leverages advanced AI to cross-verify data points within protocols. This ensures right level of accuracy and completeness while significantly speeding up the review process. By automating these checks, we reduce the time and effort typically required for manual reviews. Regulatory compliance checks. BotMinds automates the extraction and checking of regulatory guidelines. This ensures protocols meet all necessary compliance standards and helps to reduce the number of revision cycles. Automating these compliance checks not only save time, but also ensures accuracy and consistency in meeting regulatory requirements. Customizable interface. The BotMinds platform features an intuitive user interface that allows for easy customization of protocols. This adaptability ensures that the platform can meet the specified needs and requirements of various pharmaceutical processes making it versatile tool for different use cases above and beyond the protocol validation process. Efficient feedback integration. Our collaborative workbench facilitates real-time integration of feedback from various stakeholders. This enhances communication and reduces delays caused by miscommunication or slow feedback loops, ensuring that all input is quickly and accurately incorporated into the protocol. Analytics and reporting. With robust analytics and reporting tools, BotMinds allows you to monitor protocol performance effectively. You can identify bottlenecks, track progress, and make data-driven decisions with actionable insights, enhancing the overall efficiency effectiveness of the protocol validation process. And lastly, validation on the go. BotMinds addresses the challenges of ensuring protocols meet regulatory standards by providing tools that allow for validation on the go. This feature ensures that protocols can be customized to meet various requirements, offering flexibility and compliance assurance in a single solution. And that wraps up the session for the protocol validation process use case. For more details, write to us at hello at botminds.ai or visit botminds.ai to request a personalized demo. Thanks for watching.